So around the start of October, RetroRGB dropped this video, and upon seeing it, I immediately concluded that I must have it. So I went to the pre-order window and went ahead and ordered it. Sometime in late March, it finally arrived, and I was ready to install live on stream, so here's how that went. We have one of these. Oh wow. There we go. Let's get this thing prepared. I should probably pull up the guide. <clears throat> Remove the motherboard from the Xbox. All right, all right, you got it, no problem. Done this a couple times. Ew, what is that? Did this, did I just super glue these back down? I might have super glued these back down like a dum-dum last time I was in here. That's entirely possible. Oh, that sounds like super glue. I think that's what this is. It's got, you know, the super glue sound when you start cracking it away. Man, what am I gonna do to get this undone? Let's start with a different one. Let's start. Maybe my, I'll have better luck here or something. There we go. This one came off much, much easier. There we go. But this, this is probably not going back on. Oh man, that's a problem. I have knives and stuff in the Dremel, but I don't, man, that's a problem. That's a bit of a problem. So the rubber is mad hard on top of this screw. I might get the alcohol. I don't know where it is. Someone took it from here. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, okay, we're, we're over two right now. Maybe this one will work better. Man, why did I super glue these back down? What's wrong with me? We getting it. There we go. Well, that's about as much as I need to do, right? There we go, just pry that up. Pry that up right there. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm about to just yank. Okay, got got enough of it off. Wow, this is this is going a lot less smooth than I expected. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. Look at that. Two I get it? Oh we got it. Man, that was tough. We finally unscrewed most of the screws. There we go. I don't even know why I covered that back up. This thing's already a mess. Oh, there we go. There we go. Step one, almost complete. Just leave this one in. We'll move it off to the side. There we go. There we go. Is a rough spot to be in. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Finally. All right. Now to move this all aside. Yeah, this is ca this case is cleaner than I thought. Oh, hang on. I have a mat for this. Hang on. Hang on. Ta-da! Safe and sound. All right. Now to go back to the guide. I think the first thing we got is desolder the um. The whatever it's called. Can I use this mouse? Oh, I can, but it's very slow. Oh, wow. I actually, it's a good thing I'm not showing this desk. My desk is, oh, horrifically dirty. Honestly, I should probably undo these clips first. How do I undo these clips? There we go, mamma mia. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I need to fix those pins. Hey, here we go. Ugh, hardest part so far. This whole thing has been difficult so far. Okay. Did I even need to take that off? I'm gonna say I did. I'm gonna hope I did. Okay, so we just they just kind of twist at it. There we go. I hope it's alive. Look at that. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's easier than I thought. Okay. Okay, uh, put that here. Do I really have to take this part off? Can I just like lift this? I think I can lift it. I'm gonna try and avoid taking it off. I'm gonna do it. I know, I know, he's a madman. Let's see if I can. I should be able to. Yeah, I should definitely, because really the only reason we needed to do that, I think, 
uh, I think because we have to fit a, rib a ribbon cable like right here. It has to lay basically here. But there's space under here, so now I can access it. So I'm gonna try progressing with it as is, because those are not coming off. Those are not coming off. Okay, he desolders, he desolders to this. No problem, I got that, I got this. We get to do some fun stuff. I don't know how audible that is. In real life, it's quite loud, but I think my mic kind of mutes it. There we go. Huh? How about that? Ooh. Look at that. We got one of them, I think. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to redo that one. I had not given it enough time. Man. What's going on here? Desoldering is supposed to be easy. Okay, that one worked. Okay. Got two of them. So it might just be easier to do soldering wick. Yeah, let's, okay, let's boot up the regular soldering iron. Rip, I wanted to use the desoldering tool, but I guess that's enough. I have to go back to the tool. I sucked up some solder there, but it didn't. I'm gonna have to bust out the tool. Okay, yeah. So, desoldering wick. Ugh, wah, ugh, yeah, yeah. We're going back and forth. I have had very poor experiences with desoldering wick. Oh, dude. I'm stupid. Okay, I don't know what to do about this. So, I just look, took a look at my water. Look what's floating around there. That's a Wellbutrin. That's one of my pills. So, I take a like a dozen pills in the morning and I guess one of them just uh, went into my water and it's not like you can put this in the drain you're not supposed to flush meds and stuff well I guess that's gonna sit there I didn't want to have to do them to do them like this but we're gonna have to do them like this cranking the temperature on the hot air gun slightly off camera but I'm doing what I can Ah, dude. Wow. So this thing I heat up a bunch. I just, I realized that, yeah, heat transfer's a thing. <laughs> Any percent. I actually don't know how fast someone's done this. Oh, look at, oh, there we go. Mmm. Mwah. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Step one completed, I think. Y'all think, oh, actually, I'm just realizing that the lens is falling off. There we go, I think. Uh, kind of scuffed. Okay, that's on there. Dunzo! Time to reassemble. Flex cable. SCL. SDA. Uh, those. These. Screws. Everything. I think. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a geologist. Wow, this stuff is rubber. I mean, it's, it's probably thermal adhesive, so that's why. Almost there. It's like trying to clean off an eraser. Ugh. I think one that's it looks clean, but that's just because of the lighting. One more scrub. It should be cool. Good enough clean up. Good enough. I'm willing to concede on that. That's close. Ah! 
That was mighty screechy. I don't know if the mic picked it up, but that was super high pitch. It just scratched. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. Got to pound the scent. There we go. There we go. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Oh. Okay. Tape that down. Keep that tape down there. And then let's put it back in. So what are my final thoughts? Well, for the price it's at right now, this thing is a steal. $80? Come on, that's cheap. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's some people that will say, why not just get one of those HDMI converters? Aren't those basically the same thing? No. The way those HDMI converters work is you have an analog signal coming out from the Xbox and you have an analog to digital converter right here and then they slap them together and you basically have an analog signal that's converted to work with a digital display which most displays will already do. That being said, the analog signal it's pulling is probably component which is still pretty good but nonetheless it is still an analog signal and as you can see in this comparison to be fair this is a 10 times zoom but an analog signal will always 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 have some amount of noise in it where compared to a digital signal on the right here there is exactly zero noise no matter how much you zoom in there's just there's nothing look at how crispy and chunky those pixels are Finally, I want to talk about uh, Dustin Love Megahertz, the whole, whole thing. So it's understandable that someone who's running effectively a one-person operation would be overwhelmed by the thousands of orders they received. And I, I get, like I said, it's understandable with how long it took to get everything shipped out. But I do say it is very impressive with how he's gotten things under control now. He was very responsive, willing to answer all sorts of my dumb questions at all hours of the day or night, along with other people in the Discord. And as for the website Make Megahertz Shop itself, uh, ordering things now, I ordered an Open Zenium recently and it arrived the next week, so things are clearly under control. But, 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 but wait, one more thing. Why did I do any of this when the Xbox One has some pretty decent emulation, but at 1080p? Why would you spend 80 to to $100 just to get some crisp 480p? Well, even at the price I paid for all this, it's still less than what I could get an Xbox One for reasonably. That and the original Xbox, for my purposes, has faster loading times for the game I speedrun. Breakdown. So this just overall made sense. Final thoughts, this thing is pretty sick. If you are obsessive over video quality as well, you are going to really, really love this thing.